Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill, and today we are doing garlic butter steak bites. But we're also adding something to it, and we're gonna use these little fingerlings. Okay, like, like this, right? So, nothing crazy. We just kinda add something to it. First thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna take some vegetable oil, take the top off, put it into our pan, I've already washed the fingerlings, and I'm not going to use them all for this, but I'm going to throw them down in here. Let me add a little salt and pepper to them. They're already starting to cook. I do enjoy fingerlings, I really do. Find my salt and pepper. Well, we're going to use this salt. We're going to use some kosher salt. No biggie. Actually, I got salt right here. Kind of sprinkle them over. A little bit of pepper. We're going to let these things cook down. Next thing we're going to do we're going to take our other pan put it on here add a little more vegetable oil to it kind of get that started to heat up. We're going to take our steak and we're going to cut it into like three quarters to one inch thick pieces. All right, now that we're all cut up, we're gonna put these off to the side. So we're gonna take four tablespoons of butter, throw it into our pan. We're gonna take two cloves of garlic, throw it in there as well. We're gonna take some paprika, throw it in. Ground cumin, throw it in. A little bit more salt. I'm gonna add some salt to the top of these things too. We're gonna to pepper that. And then some smoked paprika. Put some salt on this. And put some salt on that. And we're going to let these things melt down and then we're going to add the steaks to them. During the break, I did stir up our butter and spices up all together. And I flipped the potatoes too. They're actually coming along quite nicely and fast. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to take one piece of steak and drop it in. See what happens. It's not quite ready yet, so we're gonna take it back. We're gonna let this heat up a little bit more and we'll be right back. While the butter heats up, we're going to add a little bit more oil here. And really all we're gonna do is just take our steak, cook it down a little bit. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll move that over there because our butter's come along quite nicely. So the potatoes. Potatoes are looking good. Move this off the side because we don't need it anymore. We're just trying to get a little bit of a, a cook to these. Nothing crazy. Just a cook. Sure are tender. Really all I use is a flank steak for this. Oh, the potatoes look good. Give those just a few moments to cook down. And then we're going to add them to our butter garlic mix. Our steak's been cooking for about two minutes, believe it or not. It's actually looking pretty good. I think we're about ready. Move this off to the side and move our mix back. We'll just chuck it in, man. Look at that sizzle. Oh yeah, I'm digging that. Yeah, I'm telling you, these are going to be so good. Check our potatoes out. They only have to be in there for about two minutes. Seriously. Nothing at all. 
So we want to make sure we get them nice and coated. And grab the plate. I'm going to try one. Just to kind of see where we're at in the process. So hot, but man, so good. Mm. God, you really get that, that mix. And it's got just a wee bit of a bite to it, too. Nothing crazy. We're going to give this another minute, and we'll be right back. We're back. It's been a minute. Time to plate it up. You know, we may not even have to add more butter to this. Because there's plenty left over inside here. Very nice. Mmm. So tender. So full of flavor. You really get the butter and garlic and everything else we put into this. I'm telling you guys, you got to try this. One more taste. Mmm. You know what? It's time to try one of our potatoes. One of our little fingerlings here. Sure, it's just super hot. You know what? We'll put it into the mix. Mm. Hands down, one of the best dishes I've ever made. True story. Oh, I gotta try another one. Sorry, guys. I gotta do it again. I'm gonna do it with a potato. Oh, man. This stuff's a bomb, guys. You gotta try it. All right, if you like what you see, please hit the like button. Please remember to comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, share, all that good stuff. We really appreciate you guys stopping by. You're watching the Dude's Kitchen and Grill, and remember, the Dude abides, this time with fingerling potatoes and garlic butter steak bites. Oh, I'm going back to eating this. Mm. Talk to you later, guys.